All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to share a photo album or a post to a group. So first things first, let's uh, go to the Santa Rosa page. Now you guys can share from your own pages or profiles, or you can come to ours and share what we have. Um, I'm gonna show you how to share a photo album. So go to photos and see all. All of our albums here are all of our current and former listings. Feel free to share one that's sold. You can share active. Um, kind of, you know, whatever works with your marketing plan. So first things first on the right hand side, if you go share, you do have the option to share to a group as the page, but you have much less options, most likely sharing as a page versus as the personal profile. Uh, a lot of groups will more likely add individuals than uh, pages. So uh, when you click that little drop down arrow next to the circle, it's going to change who you're interacting as. So as you can see here, we're using the personal profile for the company, which is Century Alley NBA. And this is an option if you want to add some text in there. So I just wanted to throw this in because this is a coming soon and this one's actually not uh, live active on the market yet. Send a DM for more info or, info or to schedule a tour. Now the contact info for the agent is listed within the photo album, uh, but feel free to add any contact info that you deem uh, relevant here. You can tag your page if you're posting as your personal, you can tag your page or you know vice versa. If you're posting as your page, you can tag your profile. Uh, but really the key here is to just copy, paste, repeat. So, all right, let's go through the full walkthrough. So share, share to group. You're gonna search in the groups. So I go by the specific location for the property first. So I'm searching for all of the Santa Rosa groups. Now I will say Santa Rosa Exchange, we were posting to for a long time, but uh, we kind of got, we didn't get booted from the group, but they reject our posts every time now. So just be aware if you're sharing to there that after a while they might not like it so much. Um, yeah, like I said, just plug and play and repeat here. So going Santa Rosa and just going down the line it might take a while to remember which ones you're posting to if you're posting to as many as I do um, so now that we've gone through all of the Santa Rosa ones I'm gonna search Sonoma so I'm search by county now we're posting to all the groups that are relevant to Sonoma County for this listing and once we're done with the Sonoma County ones, we're going to go into California real estate, and this one is on the uh, luxury side, so we're going to share to some uh, luxury pages. But the reason why you want to add yourself to as many groups as possible is because you see we have all these options of places to share this content. The more places that we can have our listings and content show up, the better. The more interaction we're going to get, the more views we're going to get. All right, so here we're going to the California real estate page. Now we're even going to do Bay Area, where buyers, sellers connect. Um, North Bay Open House, that is the one that we manage. Um, you can share as many times and as much as you want there. Share to group. Now we're going to search some luxury ones, like I had said. And once you think you've found all of the ones that you know to search or you've searched by area, can't quite think of anything else that you may be a part of that you could just search. You can feel free to scroll through and uh, select any leftovers. Um, now, I know if you're not sure of what groups you're a part of, you can always just start by doing this, scrolling through instead of searching specifics. Process is going to be the same. When you find one you want to post to, you can paste in your verbiage there and just hit post. Unfortunately, there is no option to select all the groups you want to share to at once, so kind of difficult. So if you refresh the page, 
going to automatically put you as interacting as the page. Um, but you can click over here and see where you've shared it. And the problem with interacting as the page is we're not a part of all the same groups, so it's not going to show all of the places that the photo album has been shared to. It's going to show most of them, but not all of them. So far, it looks like we've shared 17 times. So switch back to Century Alley, and then when we click on the 17 shares, it'll show all of the ones that we've shared to. And you can go through and double check that you haven't shared to any groups twice, or that you haven't missed anything. If you hit show attachment, it's going to drop down and show you exactly what you shared, which in this case is the photo album. When it appears on the page in, sorry, when it appears in the group, it's going to show up as a regular post. It's not just going to be the show attachment thing. There's all the ones that we do for the Santa Rosa listings. Just double check in one last time. I know this can be very time consuming in the beginning. It does take practice and sometimes it helps to have a list of what groups you're a part of or want to share to. So I have a handwritten list because